Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, once again, I'm back with few of the interview questions that has been asked to me for Tableau developer profile um, by the startup company named as Technomatic. So, uh, let's begin with the questions. So, the very first question is, which chart is used for the comparison of actual data field and target data field? The answer is bar chart or even you can use bullet graph as well for comparing uh, the actual and the target data field. It may be, you know, for sales comparison for something else, you can use either bu bullet chart or bar chart. So uh, the next question from the interviewer would be like uh, in my case, they asked me, uh, is there any other chart apart from these two charts means apart from bar chart or bullet chart? Is there any other chart we can use? Yes, we can use column chart or area chart as well as an alternative. But um, both these charts, uh, if I say about column chart and area chart, both uh, we can use for comparison, but definitely not a good idea for small data sets. So the another question after this question is like how many, you know, uh, values should be there for uh, bar chart or maybe for you know bullet chart for this you can use your tableau desktop so here if you click here like for stack bar you need one or more dimension and measure you can find it here so if i click here area chart so for area chart we just need one or more measure or zero or more dimension so if they asked anything like uh, i asked uh, i said that we can use bar chart so they can ask uh, for bar chart how many dimensions are required must be there or how many measures are must be there. So I'm sharing this because they uh, cross check me through these questions about the graphs. So the next question is which data connection will you prefer and why? Basically there are two types of connection. Uh, the first one is live and next is extract. And it totally depends on the project you are working on for deciding which one to use. Uh, for an instance, uh, if you are working for stock ma uh, market prediction, then definitely you need to go for live database connection uh, for live up to dates. Uh, better example, for an instance, let's say hospitals that monitor incoming patient data needs to make real time decision. So in this situation, uh, necessity is a live database connection. But uh, in the same hospital, if they are visualizing or monitoring on the uh, basis of weekly trends, fine. So in that case, they are going to use extract, fine, to make, you know, um, to, you can say that build a faster workbook. And the next question is, when do you prefer incremental refresh extracts and when do you prefer full refresh extracts? So basically, um, this again, uh, it depends on the project you are working on. It depends on the data set. So full refresh, we know that um, every time when you refresh the extract, all the rows are replaced with the data in the underlying data source. So this type of extract basically, uh, you know, ensures that you have exact copy of that underlying data source. But definitely there is a drawback as well as it takes a long time and definitely more expensive on the database, fine. So it, it depends how big your data set is, okay? While incremental refresh, rather than refreshing, you know, the entire extract, you just set up only, um, add the rows that are new since the last time you extracted it. So no need to refresh it fully, fine. So uh, it definitely, again, I said, depends on, you know, the project you are working on. Uh, for an instance, if you are working on new sale transactions, fine. So uh, you need to update it daily. So rather than rebuild the entire exact, you can just add new transaction that occur every day. So you can just set up an incremental refresh. The next question is, uh, how many types of database you have connected with Tableau? Well, it depends on the experience you have. Uh, generally, everyone you know has connected Excel, MySQL, you know, it may be MySQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server, PDFs, Microsoft Excel, JSON, fine. Now, the very next question is, what will be the output with rank dense for 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4? So rank dense, uh, basically what it does, um, identical values are assigned and identical rank in case of rank dense. 
like here two two so both are identical values both will be assigned with the same rank uh, definitely no gaps are inserted into the number sequence and here you can either use ascending or descending order but it's optional by default definitely it's an um, descending one so i think yeah it's descending one by default so here uh, it's one two two three four four so how it will order it it will be ordered like one two two three four four in this order so if you are using it depends uh in which way you are using it so it is what basically it does it just simply uh um, assign identical ranks to identical values and no gaps should be there now next question is difference between tableau version 2018 and 2020 yeah so uh, this question was actually initially they asked me the w versions you are you have worked on you know so i told them that i have worked on these 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 w uh, versions and they asked few questions on the kpis uh, so basically so i have not shared the very basic questions i think everyone is familiar with the you know basic ones so um, so they asked me the difference between both the versions yes uh, initially um there was not you know much advancements like uh, in 2020 version there is a resource monitoring uh, the persons who are using linux they know what resource monitoring tool is so you can use that for tableau server in 2020 version moreover there are enhancements to data model with relationships to you know help you to evaluate your relationship with data so if you are familiar with the relations in tableau you must be aware of this thing definitely 2018 uh, they do have few you know uh, dashboard capabilities like there were dashboard buttons transparent backgrounds there were much more you know formatting improvements in 2020 sorry 2018 but now uh, it's you can say that every version has something new some advanced features some more improved features you just better to go through you know all the versions if you have whatever version you have used you must be uh, you know familiar with the uh, add on features definitely now the last question is when do you prefer to use cross join and when do you prefer to use blending well we use both the cross join and blending uh, for joining the data from different databases we know that normal joins like in uh, all other joins they join the data from the same or the one database but in case of cross join you can join the data from different databases uh, same in the case of blending as well so uh, when data blending is useful or i can say that when we prefer to use uh, data blending uh, basically the first reason is when data is at different levels of detail fine so uh, obviously different level of details uh, i mean that data set captures data uh, with different granularity um uh, then other data set fine so the another reason when you want to combine data from different databases that is not supported by cross database join yes now if the interviewer you know asked you uh, is there any other reason when you prefer you know blending instead of cross join so yes there are certain more reasons as well so like uh, join we know that they cause duplicate data so if we don't want duplicate data we can use instead of using join we can use data blending to blend, blend on a you know can say that common dimension uh, or else if you have a lots of data then also sometimes you prefer to use data blending instead of join so this is all about the interview questions if you have doubt any doubt any query you can write down in the comment section i'll try to answer out thank you so much bye bye please like the video stay tuned bye bye